guys welcome to my channel thank you all for stopping by watching me cook another meal today for my family today guys I have pig feet yes my husband wanted some pig feet and I have some Pacific whiten some whitens yes filet whitens whitened yes and I got some um, spinach and black eyed peas and these are some of the seasons I'm going to use but if you want to see how all of this is going to come together, stick around. I haven't had pig feet in years. So, yes, I'm going to be ready for this. So, I will see you all back in a little bit. Okay, guys, I have washed my meat. Now, I'm about to season everything. What I'm going to do is first is put me some apple cider vinegar at the bottom. Then I'm going to season it. Apple cider vinegar. Some olive oil. Some black pepper. Some black coarse pepper, just sprinkle me a little of that. Some onion powder. Some accent. Believe it or not, if you ever shop at Piggy Wiggly, KJ's, or any of, the rest, or any of them grocery stores like that, this is MSG and it is accent. So I use this a lot. Accent garlic powder some red pepper flakes yes yeah, some red pepper flakes you need them definitely some season oil I'm trying to have some flavor in these boys. What else I need? I'm going to put some season oil as well in this. And I got to find my garlic. I forgot to take out my garlic. I'm going to say about two little teaspoons of minced garlic. Two tablespoons of minced garlic. Put that around so everybody can get some garlic. Yes, spread that around. And I lay my pig feet in. I washed them real good. I wash them with some vinegar and all, and yes, I wash them pretty, really good. And just lay them on their backside, the back of the, laying on the skin, and just let them cook. I'm gonna put these in the oven and let them cook. Wash my hands. Okay, I'm getting ready to season the same way to the top. I'm put me some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Some red pepper flakes. Season all. Season all. Some complete seasoning. And 
and I'm putting some more accent on. I have one green pepper and a half onion and I'll put these on top of it. But this is going in the oven. I'm going to cover this up in the oven, cover this up, put it in the oven on 400 and let it cook for a good hour then I'm going to check it. Yes, and don't put no water in this. Only thing I'm putting it is vinegar. I'm letting it really cook in vinegar. So I'm going to add me a little bit more vinegar. Cover this in a little fall, like I say. And just let it cook. Yes. And I will show y'all how it look afterwards. So we'll put some more olive oil on top. Olive oil on top. And like I said, I'm going to put it in the oven for an hour and a half. I'm going to cook it for about an hour and a half. Or 400. And I'm going to cover it. I will see y'all in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm about to cook my spinach. And I'm using some bacon today. As soon as that cooks, I will be back to show you how to season it. Okay, my good people, I have let my bacon cook for my spinach. Add a little bit of water to it. Because it's frozen spinach. And I got me a half an onion I'm going to place in here. And I also got my black eyed peas over here cooking too. I add a little bit of that bacon grease to it as well. Yes. And I got two bags of frozen spinach. Two bags. It's going to be a good meal today. So I'm about to spinach. Uh, season my spinach. I got some season oil. And I got my black beans over here cooking as well. And I'm going to season them the same way. Just about putting me some accent in those. Some red pepper flakes. And my spinach. I'm put some in my black beans. A little onion powder in my spinach and I'm putting a little onion powder in my black eyed peas doing some black pepper black pepper in my black eyed peas as well because I got both of them right here beside one another cooking and uh oh drop my hook powder I'm going to add a little salt to this. Just a little. Just a little salt to both of them. And that's all she wrote for right now. Yes, that's all she wrote. I can put some season, complete season in both of them. Yes. Because I want my food to taste. I want to taste my food. But that's all she wrote. And... I will show you all how it look when it finish. I'm about to start my fish, fry my fish. This is my black eyed peas right here cooking. I season them broccoli about the same way I season my spinach and this is my spinach. I will see you all back in a little bit. Okay my beautiful people, I'm about to fry my fish. I think my grease is hot enough. Yes. Good and hot. These are filet whitey. Filet whitey. Alright. 
I'm gonna wash my hands. Oh, the fish is coming along. I flip it. Okay, my good people, my fish is ready. This one. I'm about to fry the rest of them. And I will be back soon if I get finished with the rest of them frying them. I only have like, I think like four more pieces anyway. We're in the mood for some fish. Some fried fish. Me. I know. And I hope you all are too. <laughs> all right, my beautiful people. Everything is ready. My pig feet are red. I'm about to put me some barbecue sauce on them. Yes. They are ready. And my, you see my spinach back there in the back is ready. Yes, my fish and my black eyed peas. The next time you all see me, it's going to be or yes i am so hungry i'm ready to eat i haven't had pig feet in a while so yes my meal is complete for my family i will see you all in a little bit hello my beautiful people hello 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 welcome to my channel thank you all for stopping by sam and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe tap that bell notification if you want to see more of my videos when i upload them when I cook, what you see, what I cook for my family. And like I said, sometimes I'll be doing foods that I might want to try at a restaurant. Because I'm thinking about seriously doing that as well. Because during the week, you know, have a video out during the week. Just doing reviews of different restaurants and all. Let you guys know what's what Columbia, South Carolina has to offer in restaurants. Yeah, it's a, we have a lot of restaurants around here. But before I get into that, let me bless this food right quick. And you see this beautiful spread I cook for my family. And I will be back after. We will get to talking after this break. After this, after I bless the food. <laughs> I'm so anxious to eat. I'm hungry. Amen. Amen. Look at this, guys. Look at my spread. Isn't that nice? Woo! Ooh, don't that look good? Woo! I'm ready to dive in. I did some spinach, as you can see, for my family. Um. Mm, mm. That is so good. I cooked spinach for my family and um, I think I moved my, yeah, there we go. I want to make sure you all see my plate. I want to make sure you all see my plate. I have some sparkling ice. I've never tried the black raspberry. It looks good. You know, I like sparkling ice. They're really good. And only time I drank them, I haven't been drinking a lot of them. I've been drinking them lately, but when I first started drinking them, I fell in love with them. But I haven't tried the black raspberry. Ooh, that is so pretty, isn't it? That is very pretty. Oh, that is good. Black raspberry is really good. I started to get two of them. I only bought one. I only got one of them. But you say I have a pig feet on my plate. Yes, I do. I haven't ate pig feet in a very, very long, long time. And my fried fish. I want to try my pig feet. I want to try it. Let me try this. 
The reason why, you know why I cook my sister had some. Mmm. Good. It's so tender. My sister had some at her family gathering at her house back here. And I bought my husband a couple of them home. He asked me why did I bring him just two. I said, okay, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. But anyway, he wanted some pig feet, so he went and bought some yesterday. And I told him I cooked them today. That's good. I, I know of them. I do. Mm. I cooked them. And I put that barbecue sauce on them after they was cooked. Oh, they're so good. They are good. Now I got my rice, my black eyed peas on my rice over here. Mm, mm, mm. Good meal. Y'all have some. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Nothing over the top. Just a plain simple meal. Very inexpensive. I cook for my family and which me and my husband are going to be the only way to eat pig feet. They don't want no pig feet. That's why I did fish. Mmm. Mmm. They're good. Like I said, I don't add no water. I just put that vinegar in, let them, that vinegar just cook, cook, cook. You can add water if you want to, you know. Vinegar and water. But I just let them cook in that vinegar. Mmm, drop my bottle. They are so good, this fish. Look at my fish. Look at this. Fish look good. I forgot my hot sauce. <laughs> Got my hot sauce. Mm -mm -mm. So how is everybody doing? I hope all is well. And if you're going through something, just pray to God to give you strength to endure it. Cause like I said, we all we all go through something, don't we? No matter what it is. We just had a death in the family. And it's a hard one. But I have to we have to pray to God. I have to pray to Jehovah to give me the strength to endure it. <clears throat> Cause nobody knows that special I'm unexpected, you know. When expecting that, losing a loved one is always, you know, hard. It's never easy. It was my brother-in-law. So yes. It hit my husband really hard. And he was more of a brother than a brother-in-law to me. That was my brother. Talked to him all the time. And I'm going to really, 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 really miss him. Miss him calling me. <laughs> all of that. That was, my, that was my big brother. This pig, this pig feet are good. Mm, mm, mm. This old meal is delicious. 
Mm. I saved my stomach for this. I say my stomach. Hear me? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Don't that look so good? It's so pretty. That pig feet came out real nice. I don't know if you all like pig feet or not out there. I live here in the south and my generation people that my age and older grew up on eating pork my daddy worked for Carolina Pride and he used to bring home all kind of little meats and stuff he said they didn't throw away nothing on the hog. So whatever it is on the hog, he brought it home and we had it. We ate it. Pig ears, tongue, you name it. But I grew up looking at this stuff, so I'm familiar with it. Hmm. If it got away from me. Mm, it's good though. I fried that fish really good. Well, you all know how I do it. I love to get on here and show you all my plate. Everybody in the house, it ain't really eating right along with me today. <laughs> I know my husband tearing no pig feet up. I don't. I can see him he eating them, I'm tearing them up. Well, like I said, I just want to get on here and show you all my plate. What I'm eating on my plate. I'm about done. I believe I'm about to finish this. Well, Come to the end of another great video, another cooking video of y'all seeing what I cook for my family on this beautiful day, on this beautiful blessed day. I thank you all for joining me because like I say, you all can be anywhere else and I thank you all for joining me. Thank you, thank you so much. I enjoy what I do and I hope you all enjoy me showing it to you all what I do when I cook dinner for my family. On that note, you all take care. Be safe until my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Tap that bell notification when you want to see more of my videos. And leave me a comment. I love to read, comment, and share. Share my video if you like what you see. I appreciate it. Thank you all so much for stopping by Sam. Bye-bye.